weeks after the devastating floods hit KwaZulu-Natal, the Prince Mshieni um, Hospital in Umlazi still doesn't have clean running tap water. The hospital has had to rely on water tankers. And then we've got a reporter, Leti Wemdluli, who joins us now with the very latest on the situation at the hospital, Leti Wem. Give us some of the reasons they say they haven't been able to restore water supply in the hospital because one can only imagine how difficult it's been to treat patients without water. Well, Rofiwa Umlazi um, Prince Mshieni Hospital is situated in Umlazi and it's a township that has been affected by the floods. You remember that over the past three weeks we've been covering the water issues that the township has been dealing with. That's because the water infrastructure, um, such as the biggest pipes in the city, have been um, damaged by the floods. And uh, Prince Mshieni is one of the places that is currently suffering from this. Uh, we have been been here with the PSA since the morning and they've been um, on an oversight visit where they are monitoring the situation and finding out how the hospital has been able to operate since the floods hit. I'm going to ask my colleague to show you um, what the government is currently trying to do um, to avert the situation. On this side of my, um, of my hand you can see that there is a Joshua tank. We've been told that water tankers are being distributed um, or they are distributing water on a daily basis. Um, and the hospital staff, unfortunately, has to stop work for some time during the day and collect water um, so that um, patients will have water and they can carry on with the day's duties. There's also the South African um, um, soldiers that are stationed here, um, as you can see. They are here to lend a helping hand to the hospital because of the amount of patients that the hospital has been receiving um, in the past um, few weeks. And that's because you'd remember that over 400 people have died in the province due to the floods, while others still remain missing. Um, and also the hospital has now um, had toilets situated outside the hospital. Um, these are the toilets that um, patients have to use and visitors as well. So that they do not use so much water. But of course, um, this is a problem for a lot of people um, here in, in Umshieni because they, it's a big hospital and its services are not only Umlazi residents, Rafiwa, it also services um, places such as Isipingo and also Umbumbulu in the south coast of Durban. I'm now joined by the PSA's Mlungi Sindlovudo and I want to bring him in and ask him about what you've observed so far. How are the staff um, able to carry on with work is it um, safe for them to carry on working in these conditions firstly let's just appreciate the work that has been done by the department in terms of supplying the Georgia tank the toilet and also municipalities that have been assisting in supplying water even although we still have concerns to say the department has incurred new cost as a result of buying still water for the staff, but we have also been approached by some of the patients who said there is no enough water. As a result, we are calling upon the municipality to speed up the process of supplying connecting water to this hospital. This is one of the biggest hospitals. As PSA in the province, we have been doing a walkabout to check how the staff feel about the situation. The staff has tried to manage under the circumstances and we appreciate the staff of Prince Imshien that have worked so hard but what we are saying the situations is, is, is not is under control for now but what we need is that the situation must go to normal we appeal to the municipality to conclude the process so that it does not compromise service delivery because if staff are expected to fetch water and patient that movement disturb the healing process so it is for these reasons when we came to this hospital with their leaderships, our, the board of director and also the general secretary of Federal to say this is the institution where we have challenges. But as PSA will always give credit when, when it's true, they provided those services. If you see the, the toilet is what we are saying, municipalities must connect uh, uh, the water supply because they cannot uh, uh, operate without water. They've got three reservoirs that need to be, uh, to be supplied with 300 million liters but they must meet 25%, which is 250,000. So the municipalities 
important that they connect the water so that they focus through the other areas. There are other departments that is being affected. We call upon the DG in the province to ensure that the department like Sasa, uh, uh, airport, they have the services of water because it's a basic right and the basic need. Uh, Mr. Ndlovu, we've also been speaking to some patients and those that are visiting um, their loved ones at the hospital. They are saying that they are not sure whether that drinking water is safe to drink. The department is supplying um, workers with still water, but they're not supplying um, patients as well as those who are visiting. What do you have to say about that as a union? It is the reason that we came to do a walkabout. The next call that we're going to do, because we are the union of actions, we're going to call, contact the head of department who always respond to our call and the MEC to ensure that also patients are supplied with water. But this problem can be fixed if the municipality can speed up the process. We acknowledge what uh, 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 the mayor, Odisi Kaunda, has done in terms of providing the tank, the support from SNDF, but what we are saying, People cannot have a challenge of water. We are saying to the MEC and also SOD, we're going to engage with them to say they must support patients with water. They must also explain in terms of this George, whether it's, it's for the patient to, to, to drink, it's a drinkable water, or it's to, to do the other thing. It's for this reason that we came with the leadership to do a walkabout. PSA is a union of action. We are very professional. We're going to visit other affected areas and continue to provide that support. Now, the airport is one of those affected areas. You've just made a mention that it's still without water. What have you observed as a union so far? So our observation is that the water is in and out after we have called the, the, the intervention. The, we are calling on all the departments. When they have a crisis of water, the policies are very clear what need to be expected because we don't want to send labor inspectors to close certain institutions. We have no intention of impacting any service delivery. It is for this reason where, where there are issues of water, we call upon our members, even those that are not our members, to call us so that we provide those assistance because you cannot operate. Etegwin has been affected. Most of the areas, even where our members live, they don't have water. It seems as if municipalities is struggling under this condition. We have noted what Department of Cocta, under the leadership of MEC Shomuga and the SOT Tubane, that they have given them more tank. So what we are saying, let's fix the issues of water. The issues of water challenge is not only because we've got disaster. We've got the water challenge in this province. Some of the departments, social de development, have got problems. But we are engaging so that the problem can be fixed. We are here to ensure that there are so solution. We also appreciate the work of the ENCA for coming to these institutions so that people receive our support. Now you touched on something very important about our workers having to leave their patients to come and collect water here um, at the Jojo tank. You've received a briefing from some of your members here at the hospital. What did they say about this process? So they are, they are saying that they need to assist each other. Remember that we are in the disaster situation. So the issue of manpower is a challenge. You also understand that this hospital is one of the hospitals that is understaffed. It is for these reasons that we also call upon the MEC and the SOD to say, let's fill all the budgeted positions. The number is increasing. Our people need our services vacancies that are budgeted must be filled. We call the office of the Prima to say the monitorium that has been put on the position, it affects the service delivery because if you don't have enough personnel, it's going to be a problem if some of the patients, some of the staff need to fetch water well, 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 well they need to save this. Our role here is to make sure that we provide service. As PSA will always be present, provide services. Where government is not doing the right things will be able to correct them. And we're going to have a discussions with the MEC and the SOD and also again with the Prima to say we must be able to deal with the issues of vacancy, vacancies because there are people that have died due to COVID. You know, positions are still not being filled. So it is important that we don't only prioritize the tendering process. You know, we must prioritize filling of position. Our role as PSA is to be the watchdog and ensure that there is justice because we represent our members the right and the interest of our members. Thank you so much. Thanks.
So that is Mlungi Sindlogorofiwa, who is from the PSA. They have done an oversight visit, of course, and he's mentioned quite a few things that they are worried about. The fact that staff at some point have to leave their patients so that they can collect water. There's also the issue of um, water being bought for workers, um, but patients have to make do with what they have, which is the water that the water tankers are delivering to the hospital through these Jojo tanks that I showed you earlier. No, absolutely, and it's very worrying because he did highlight there that the cost of the still water that it is now having to be bought until a permanent solution can be found is really adding to the costs of um, the hospital um, in that it's just very expensive to now run a hospital that services not just people in the community, Leti, as you correctly mentioned, um, it reaches further than that community. We'll catch up with you a little bit later on. Let's bring you